Bora TV. The world is thinking. If we want to make a muscle big and strong, what we try and do molecularly, and as a strength coach, I try and increase the activity of this protein. And so the way that you do that, there's three ways that you can do that. One is through activity, and that's by lifting weight. Okay, lifting any weight, it doesn't have to be a super heavy weight. What you have to do is you have to lift the weight until you can't lift it anymore. So that you get to the point where you're at fatigue. Once you do that, you've activated this part of the pathway. I also have up here growth factors. In the growth factors aspect of it, these two things do the same thing. There's no advantage to taking growth factors if you are doing resistance exercise. It's not going to make you any bigger and stronger because they work through the same way to activate mTOR in the same way. But what works independently of that is amino acids or proteins. And so we know that we can turn on this protein and make your muscle bigger if you combine resistance exercise and amino acids or protein. You can have a bigger effect from the same activity. So you do the same activity, I could feed you something different within the first 30 minutes after that, you finish that activity, and I can change whether your muscle grows a little bit or a lot, just by what we feed you. Okay, and, and so that's going to be important. But also you can see that there's a lot of things down here. And I spent five years living in Scotland where the diet was predominantly high fat and alcohol. And so... It's we probably the other have, way around though. Oh, uh, high, alcohol and high fat, exactly. Um, so we didn't have much muscle mass gains because if you go out and you, you lift weights, even if you were one of the few people in Scotland who lift weights, you'd go out to the pub afterwards and you'd have alcohol and that would turn off the whole process. <coughs> so by taking alcohol or a high fat meal or, or having high amounts of free radicals, you can turn off the system. But I know that these things I can control with diet, this I can control by putting an antioxidant in, and now I can get more of an effect. These two over here, these are just different proteins that are activated by endurance exercise. So if I wanna do and gain muscle mass, what I would have to do is I'd have to not do endurance exercise after I did my strength exercise. Okay, So simple things like that, when you understand the molecule, you can adjust your diet by adding some protein in, and you can do it. So the first question that you hopefully are asking is, how much protein do I need? This is, this is a study that were, was done by a, a Canadian colleague of mine where they looked at egg, egg protein. You can use milk protein, and I'll talk to you about what proteins are good in a second. But what you can see is that after you get to 20 grams of protein, there's no benefit to having more. So taking 20 grams is better than taking 10, but it's not any better to take 40. So 20 grams seems to be maximal for everybody. Okay, and that seems to be consistent no matter what the size is. This is with egg protein, but maybe there's a different type of protein that's better. And if you look at different proteins, this is one of the proteins from milk, casein. Right beside, right beside Nana here, this is whey protein. So that's another protein from milk. The only difference really between them is casein forms a clump in your stomach, so it doesn't get digested quickly. And it has lower amounts of leucine, and leucine is key to activating mTOR. So what you can see from this is if you take soy, there's a positive effect with resistance exercise and at rest. But if you take whey, there's a little bit more of an effect, and there's an even greater effect with resistance exercise. And so what I tell people, and what this information tells us, is that one of the things you want to do is within the first 30 minutes after resistance exercise, is you can take a chocolate milk, and that has both whey and casein in it, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of active ingredients from if you have high quality chocolate. It's actually extremely good for your muscle, and it is one of the best things for increasing your muscle mass.